This show is brought to you by Game Up Hard Hydration. It's like your favorite seltzer and your favorite sports drink. Got together, had a baby, but it's so much better. And Dave has those details down by heart. Oh, absolutely. We're talking about fruit punch, orange, lemon, lime, and grape. And guys, it's only 110 calories per can. It's low, low carb. Enjoy yourself some Game Up. Speaking of flavors, I really like the flavor that NXT seems to be adding to its debut show leading up to the CW. Very excited. Uh, this week, We I was so excited for SmackDown. I was looking for the replay today. But it <laughs> debuts on USA Tonight. We have everything on USA for a little bit. And then NXT moves to the CW. It looks like they have big things in store. I'm just coming off of NXT this week, more was added. Dave, what do you think about the subject? I, I'm loving the build up for NXT uh, to CW. We got Julia. You know, she just beat Chelsea Green on the day, uh, her debut of NXT this week. So we're building up to that title shot in Chicago. It's a match that a lot of people want to see. Julia versus Roxanne Perez. Trick Williams, you know, is now all set. He's going to get his rematch, one-on-one -on -one rematch with Ethan Page for the title. We know CM Punk is going to be there. They're teasing that CM Punk has got some kind of idea coming up, and apparently he's going to be on NXT this week. So we're setting that. We saw the Bloodline show up this week on NXT. Are they going to play a part in the Chicago show? So there's just a lot of stuff that we're building up match-wise and with some big-name talent popping in that makes NXT to CW very interesting. It's like making me realize, like, I need to make sure I have the, C the CW. I got to have a place to watch this. Yeah, make sure to add it on your Roku TV. It is a free app. And it's funny because I went on, I added it to the Roku TV, and I was just looking around the CW app. Yeah. And NWA has been on the CW app longer, but NXT, which isn't even there yet, is featured more prominently. And oh, if you wow. Search, you can find NWA, but they have like they have they already have wrestler profiles up so you can get to know these stars before the show hits. And it really th seems like CW is putting in the work to roll out the red carpet for this show. It's got to be even though they're so what they're not cable, they're a network TV and I know they're one of the smaller networks. This is probably going to be their flagship show. I would imagine this will probably have the biggest ratings. And hopefully, like, you know, we were saying that you can get on the CW app at least the next day or the week after or something, because I know that a lot of people are going to see, but I imagine there's going to be a little bit of a wait, right? Because they're going to want people to tune in to the actual network. Possibly. I'm not familiar with what their like posting schedule is. Like most streaming services seem to do next day. Like I know for the Rick and Morty animated show, right. it's live on like Cartoon Network Good and then point. it's up on Max the next day. So it could be that sometimes and I've seen it with WWE at least posting to Peacock, Raw and SmackDown are not always updated so quickly. So you could be that week or two behind. We'll have to see what the schedule Maybe is. Maybe you post it like on a Friday. Like if NXT's on a Tuesday, you know SmackDown's gonna be on a Friday. Maybe you try to capitalize on a wrestling audience or something and then put it on the app too. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'll I'll have to get more into the CW app because you know, yeah. just adding it yesterday. I, I think I've, it's available on YouTube TV, the CW network. Um, okay. And uh you know, we gotta we got another person who's on this podcast who has the YouTube TV. So we <laughs> I wanna I'm gonna get that. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. <laughs> and I, I plan on catching up on the Crockett Cup on CW. That's one of my favorite events of the year. This year it was on the CW app, and I just didn't see it much. But one thing we will be seeing if you haven't tried Game Up, then you are missing out. Imagine your favorite seltzer and your favorite sports drink had a baby, but it's way better than that. Each can is 110 calories, low carb, 4.9 ABV. It's a nice light drink that is not light on flavor. Game Up comes in fruit punch, orange, lemon, lime, and grape. Pick it up at drinkgameup.com or at your nearest liquor store.